My grandfather once told me, appreciate that beautiful star that shines the brightest, but never forget the star that shines the brightest is usually the first to burn out. My friend asked me how I wanted to be remembered and I couldn't think of anything for like the longest time. And then it just sort of came to me. I guess if I could hear my son say, she was a woman of substance. That would be the greatest compliment in the world. Hi everybody, I'm so happy to come talk to you today. How are you doing today? I hope you had a wonderful Halloween and you're looking forward uh, uh, to having a great November. Thank you so much uh, for the nice comments that you left on my video last week. Uh, my before and after pictures of uh, rosehip seed oil uh, were quite the hit. And I just wanted to quick tell you that um, the before and after the the before pictures were three years old and they were taken with a different camera than my after pictures so that's not really quite fair um, and in the before pictures uh, I was 18 pounds thinner uh, I was smoking two packs of cigarettes a day uh, and going through a very stressful time in my life uh, the after pictures uh, you see uh, you know the uh, what gaining 18 pounds looks like on your face it kind of looks like you have some fillers uh, and um, I think it, it showed though uh, what you can do if, if you really uh, not only change the products that you're using on your face but what if you change your lifestyle too so um, I hope those uh, those pictures gave you uh, kind of an idea of what I was up against in, in the before pictures and I found at least a hundred pictures like that of myself uh, uh, three years ago and I admit I did pick the worst two that I could find just for the drama of it all. <laughs> I had a thing happen to me a couple weeks ago um, where a friend of mine uh, was in town and uh, he's just a dear friend and he said I'm only in town for a day and I'm in your neck of the woods and I'll be over there in 10 minutes and it was in the morning and I hadn't had my makeup on and I just I had like about seven minutes to do a full face makeup so I wanted to kind of uh, quick go through that with you today just real quick to show you what I use when I need a seven minute face and these aren't my favorite products but the products that I'm going to quick show you are the products that I use when I only have seven minutes and I know they are foolproof and I'm not going to have to fuss with them and they're always going to give me a good result. So um, I wanted to start out with a primer. Uh, I use the Pore Professional Primer uh, for my face because I don't have to wait for it to dry. And the same with the Milani Eyelid Primer. I don't have to wait for it to dry. So boom, you know, 20 seconds and it's done. So after my primer, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Physician's Formula Dual Concealer. One side is yellow and one side is beige. And I'm going to uh, take the yellow side and uh, any place that I have red on my face is going to get a big dab of yellow. And then I'm just going to pat that in and uh, be good to go because that way then after I put on my foundation I don't have to use concealer. Uh, I go for a foundation, uh, not my favorite foundation, but a foundation that is liquid, thin, that I don't have to build up, that I can use a beauty blender with because I need it to look natural but I don't have a lot of time to be playing with it or uh, contouring with it or building it up. So I will always grab, shake it good, I always uh, grab my Fit Me Makeup 
It is a perfect match uh, for my skin tone. Uh, I don't have to put more than uh, one layer of it on, uh, so I always grab it. It's not my favorite, but it's the one that is the fastest. So then after my foundation is on, I will take my Eve Pearl uh, Under Eye Salmon Concealer. It is two-tone. Uh, I remember when I first showed this to you, I said I didn't like it, but now I love it. I I use I, I wear Eve Pearl almost all the time. Now today I have my seven minute face on, uh, but most of the time uh, I film with Eve Pearl makeup because I love it. But anyway, okay, I digress. So I use her Salmon uh, Under Eye Concealer, and I just will pat it in and then go over it with a brush and then set it with a little bit of e.l.f. powder and I'm done. And you know. I think it's no secret that my under eye area is my weakest link and I have been really loving this and it's quick and it's easy and I don't have to play around with it and I don't have to build it up. It's just perfect. So when I'm in a hurry, I, sh I don't have a lot of time to be contouring my cheeks and contouring my jaw and my nose and I don't, I don't have time for that. So I do grab my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. What a value. I believe this palette is $10. It has uh, these baked kind of uh, uh, baked highlights, which I use as a highlight and a blush. Um, you can use these as a bronzer or a contour. You've got your uh, champagne and your yellow colors, uh, so it can help you, you know, accent uh, almost like a reverse contour, but it's just, it's very, very, very fast. You can just boom, 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 and you are done, and you have so many things in one palette, and I just, I love the quality of it, and I love the look of it, and I love the tone of it. So it makes me feel very, very put together. So it's very, it's one of my very favorite time-saving palettes. I'm in a hurry, so I don't have time for a lip liner and uh, uh, glosses and a little pouty, little glitter. I don't have time. So I am always going to grab my Bedellum uh, lip crayons. And I do that because they are so intense, they are so creamy, and it takes 10 seconds and you are done and they last. I mean, I could be kissing somebody for 10 minutes and this lip stick wouldn't come off. That is such a nice description of that, isn't it? Anyway, I digress. Uh, it lasts forever uh, and I think it gives you a nice rich look but you don't have to play around with it and it can be as bold as you want it to be without looking you know, real harsh and kind of creepy. Um, so I love that. When I'm in a hurry for my eyebrows and my eyeliner, I cheat. Rimmel has a wonderful eyebrow tool. Uh, it is a nice warm brown and it has a, uh, a brush on the other side so you can brush through your brows. Um, and uh, the brow pencil is so nice and natural and it gives you a lot of control. But also when you're in a hurry, I, I do anyway, um, I use it as a underneath uh, a little bit uh, of a hint of an eyeliner and then above also. And it's absolutely foolproof. It stays, it doesn't bleed. It's just, it gives you kind of that look that you know you spend a long time with your eyeliner. I can spend 10 minutes on eyeliner. This I spend 10 seconds with. So uh, so when I'm in a hurry, I think it gives me a nice finished look, but uh, no effort. So I love it. Eyeshadow palettes. I have so many beautiful eyeshadow palettes now, but when I'm in a hurry and I'm stressed and maybe my hand is shaking a little bit, um, my good palettes, they're so pigmented that if I make a mistake, I could be there for 15 minutes trying to blend it out. And then I have to wash my face and I have to start all over again. And I, I just, I don't have that kind of time. But I know if I, if I grab my NYX, my Naturals palette, this is foolproof. I love it. If I could, I would marry this eyeshadow palette. It is so wonderful as far as it is foolproof. It's not my favorite palette but it's the one that I have 100% confidence in that when I start putting on my shadow, it's going to look nice, it's going to look finished, and I can't make a mistake. You can't, you cannot make, well, I guess you could. I guess, like, if you drank, like, a whole bunch of vodka gimlets and you got into the, anyway, I don't see how you could possibly make a mistake with this palette, but I love it. It is so, it was like they made this for me. It has that nice little peachy uh, color for your crease, and uh, it gives you a, a nice uh, kind of a glitter for your eyelids. The one thing I always make time for is I do curl my eyelashes. 
Um, but as far as when I'm in a hurry putting on primer and messing with a lot of different mascaras, um, I will always use, it's not my favorite mascara, but it's the mascara that I use when I'm in a hurry. And it's the CoverGirl Drama Queen. That is so me, isn't it? Of course I would use that. Anyway, one of the reasons that I use the CoverGirl Drama Queen is the wand is so tiny and it doesn't make your lashes real thick, it just makes your lashes long. quickly is on Halloween night um, uh, they were having a, a sale at a special antique store that's uh, by my home that uh, I love very much I feel very comfortable in that old store and uh, so I drove there and I had to actually the traffic was pretty heavy so I had to turn around and in turning around I went down a street that had some really pretty uh, beautiful old homes like the ones that I lived in with my uh, ex-husband and I flashed back on on my life and my home and my gardens and you know I started to cry and uh, I caught myself you know I caught myself it's so important for our happiness that our happiness and well-being depends on whether we're living in the here and now or uh, whether we're agonizing over the past or worrying about things in the future that might happen, um, that we need to stay focused on the here and now. So when that was happening to me, I thought, I, I have let this memory of the past rob myself of this wonderful night that I had you know it was Halloween night and the kids were so cute and and the antique store was so angelic and so I, I let that I let those thoughts kind of take away my present when I was 13 years old I bought an album called bookends by Simon and Garfunkel and there was a song uh, there was a song on that record called old friends and um, and some of the lyrics were, um, time it was, what a time it was. I have a photograph, preserve your memories. They're all that's left you. And I remember being a 13 year old girl and thinking to myself, now when I'm an old lady, I wanna make sure that I have banked every fantastic, wonderful memory that I'm gonna make in my life because someday, if my legs don't move or I'm not 100%, I wanna make sure I can live on all these glorious memories that I'm gonna make in my life. And I was 13 years old and that song inspired me to live my life like that for, for every day, every experience to like carve it carve it like into a tree, carve your initials like into a tree only with memories. And so that was, that was my mission from, from the time I was just a, a little girl. So I had an appreciation of being an older woman even when I was young. But I think what I'm learning is that yes, you need to preserve your memories, that you, you need to uh, remember all the wonderful times that you had, uh, you know, with your parents or with a husband, with an ex-husband, uh, with your children. Um, but make sure that they don't override 
the present. So that is my new mission. My new mission is every time I start slipping into thinking about my past, uh, whether it's positive or not, or every time I start worrying about something that may happen in the future, I'm not going to let that rob me anymore of my life. And uh, and I feel really good about that, and I, and I kind of wanted to share that with you. So thank you so much for spending this time with me today. And, you know, if you get time, will you tell me, um, do you think about the past a lot? Do you, uh, do you worry about the future, or do you live in the now? I would just love to know. Uh, maybe you have some tips and tricks uh, uh, to help us kind of stay grounded in, in today and not yesterday or tomorrow. So, you know, I love you with all my heart, and I hope you have a wonderful brand new week, and when you're done with your new week, I hope you come back and see me and Cooper, okay? Okay. <laughs>